Alright, what's up everybody? It's Cowboy again. We're playing some Call of Duty 2. Now, this is the uh, special version. It came with the bonus DVD. Now, what I thought it was, you know, honestly, I, I didn't know what to think about the DVD. It was just, uh, it was just bonus DVD. But, uh, anyway, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Call of Duty series, so I want all of the Call of Duties, and I have all of them but classic. And, uh, anyway, I, I died a couple of million times here at first because I'm used to being able to spam the trigger. These, uh, the older versions got so much, uh, recoil. And that grenade, I was trying to sprint away from it, but, uh, they didn't invent sprint for this game yet, so, silly Treyarch. Anyway. Uh, as you can see, I have played this game a little bit before, but I just kind of quit. And, uh, so I just resumed the campaign here, and that's where we're at now. It takes me a little while to get past this, because I was trying to get used to the controls again. The sensitivity was horrible, but I had it up all the way. It took me like five years to find the guy up on the roof up there. They all, like, when I first started uh, playing again, I thought they were in the KKK or something, you know. <laughs> it was all just the white suits. And then I see the guy in the top there. But, um, die a couple more times right up here trying to uh, fix the wire, which is the main objective. I'm not quite sure what we're fixing it for, but grenade, that one kills me. I was trying to get away from it, just, I, I couldn't. Couldn't get in the corner, so I exploded and died. <laughs> but, um, each time I die, I gotta hurry up and kill this guy again. And see, I try to spam the trigger there, but, uh, I quickly remember the, uh, recoil factor. So. Now, the reason I never switched weapons is because I just kind of figured I had a pistol as my secondary, which I do not actually have a uh, submachine gun. <laughs> I saw the grenade and I was trying to shoot it right then, but uh, it just didn't work. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I, I've got a uh, machine gun as a secondary. I just never thought about switching to C. And uh, when I finally do, I was like, why the hell have I been using this? You know, but whatever. Um, well, I don't really have much to say about this game. I. I am a huge fan of the uh, Call of Duty series, like I said, but the older versions without... Now, see, that's where I was like, why the hell haven't I been using this? But anyway, I, um... I don't remember what I was saying. That was a bad idea, just dropping down and killing everybody. That was a horrible idea. I was able to save myself, but... Good lord, that was a bad idea. And the melee on this is horrible too. Okay. I think that was like the first time it, uh, or like the only time it works for me. And this gun for the. Except for the, um, recoil factor, it's a very good gun. Because like I said in the earlier video, you always want to have that long range weapon. Mm, this is my long range weapon. I died here a couple of times also because uh, I was trying to figure out where everybody was. 
but um, I think I'm, it's not veteran, but it's the next one down that a difficulty I'm playing on. And I shot through the floor, or on the floor, expecting to be able to shoot through the floor and kill him. I'm just used to the, you know, the newer Call of Duty, it's got bullet penetration, gay. But, uh, I reckon I couldn't shoot through the floor. It really irritated me. But like I said, I mean, it's an older game, so I guess I didn't really expect much. You know, I think if I would, uh, aim down the sights, I would get more kills here and maybe survive a little bit more, but I didn't care, I mean... It's not like the uh, keep track of the KD ratio in this game. Now I just straight up run right for the cord a couple of times, and then I learn okay this isn't working. So now die again right here. Shoo. trying to hide from their grenade random body just explodes and it was it, it made me laugh when I first saw it and there's a guy behind the barrel that was just perfect time <laughs> I thought that was the guy shooting at me from behind, so I uh, I shot at him a couple of times, and then I realized he was my uh, my teammate. So Now the MP40, I end up using it a lot more because I like it better. The uh, recoil kind of helps you, if that makes any sense to y'all. But to me, it felt like it helped me, so I kind of stuck with the MP40. <clears throat> I go back to the other weapon, whatever the hell it's called. I can't even pronounce the name, but I go back to it a few times and use the rest of the ammo in that. Just because of its... Uh, fire rate I was trying to figure out where I walked in on there. I was like, what in the world is this a secret hiding place? But it's just under the uh, stairs. <laughs>
Now right here I kind of figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I have to take the sticky grenades and put them on the tank and blow it up. Now, my thing was that I thought I was supposed to put all three sticky grenades on the tank. So I was kind of skeptical and right here I, I had to check my objectives. I was just a little bit confused because like I said I wasn't I wasn't sure how many grenades I was supposed to stick on there. But it kind of made sense to stick three of them on there to blow it up because you know I mean nine plus two equals four a tank doesn't blow up by one grenade that I mean I don't think a grenade would or three grenades would blow up a tank either but whatever I'm sticking on the tire and on the back and I couldn't get it on the tire I kept moving so I just went ahead and put it on the back and uh see so yeah, I was trying to put more grenades on it and then I realized that it said explosives planted stand back but I wanted to watch it blow up which wasn't exciting as I thought it would be but uh this gameplay is almost over so y'all have a nice day or night whatever it is remember to like and subscribe to see some videos similar to this one see y'all